everyone. I'm going to give a lecture today on the pelvic girdle. All right, but first, make sure that um, because I'm not here today, that you go through your first three columns here on your unit outline. All right, so you should make sure that you take out your unit outline and your papers for labeling. And you might want to pull up the PowerPoint as well. All right. Also, you will be look, watching all of the bone videos um, when you are done watching this video. And you will go through and with your skeletons and make sure you know the first three columns. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All right, so you have your first three columns that you have to be familiar with. So today, make sure that you review those. All right, so you can pause the video. You can review all of these. Um, definitely, this third column is a little bit trickier than these. Let's start here with the shoulder girdle. Okay, your clavicle and your scapula, then move to the humerus. And then you're going to want to go um, to that radius, the ulna, and the hand. So really work on the, the carpus, the wrist, and the metacarpal. So make sure you know how they're labeled. All right, we're now going to go to the fourth column, and that's what today is about. So I want you to highlight. We're moving to the pelvis. You're gonna highlight the pelvis, the acetabulum, the ilium, and then the ilium is a bone that makes up the pelvis. And the two listed underneath, the ala and the iliac crest, those are markings that you have to know. And then I'm going to scroll, and you should be highlighting the greater sciatic notch, the iliac fossa, the ischium, the ischial spine, the lesser sciatic notch, the ischial tuberosity, and then on to the pubis, which is the third bone, the obturator foramen, and the pubic symphysis. So the three bones of the pelvis are the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. They're the ones that are underlined. All right, and then on Tuesday next week, we are going to go over the lower limb. All right, and there will be an Ed Puzzle that I that will open up at two o'clock. You'll be using Miss Laporte's Ed Puzzle for um, this one. So you guys have this sheet, and so you can spend time time highlighting. And so if you want to work ahead, you can do that. But we will be introduced to the lower limb uh, next Tuesday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now transition to the pelvic girdle. Please make sure you review. So the pelvic girdle, all right, so hopefully you can see, I could not take the skeleton apart I don't want to, I could unscrew it, but it's, uh, it's pretty stable here. So um, there's two hip, hip bones. Remember when I said this is coxal, this area? Okay, they're also, these bones are also called coxal bones or pelvic bones. And this helps attach to the lower limb. And there's going to be uh, each hip bone. So there's one here, one here, and then you guys have learned the sacrum, which is back here. All right that provides stability and that attaches, you know, the hip bones attach um, the lower limbs to the axial skeleton. Three fused bones, the ilium is here, the ischium is here, and the pubic bone is here. And the two pubic bones, I don't know if you can see this, the pubic symphysis right here is cartilage. You can see where they come together. One 
Actually, I need to cheat here for a second. One, I need to pull up that outline so I can make sure I cover all of the markings so I can look at the same time. The one major marking that you're going to have to be familiar with is the acetabulum. So the acetabulum is where all three bones connect, your ilium, your ischium, and the pubis over here. So this acetabulum right here is the socket and it's always gonna be on the lateral surface. surface. So you should find on your skeleton right now, the acetabulum. The femur, which you can see right here, it articulates, it's a ball and socket joint, just like the shoulder joint. So the acetabulum is that marking and you have to know that. Um, and it's where all three of the pelvic bones come together and the head of the femur fits into the acetabulum. So here you can see it better on this diagram. Now this is the right hip bone. And if we were in school, you'd have these by themselves and it does get tricky, you know, how to hold it. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can look for the acetabulum. The acetabulum is on the lateral side. So there's gonna be one on each side. So this would be the right hip, this would be the left hip, right? So that's one way that you can uh, look to know which side it is. It should never be medial, it's always lateral because that's where the femur, your thigh bone comes and articulates with the acetabulum. So here you can see a better picture of the three bones. So here's the ilium, ischium is more in the back. So I can show you this here. This is going to be the ischium, so you can see it down here. This is the ilium. And then you can see the pubis which is going to be here, the pubic bone. All right, so if we look on your sheet, you have the ala and the iliac crest on the ilium. So the ala is just like this whole part here. Okay, so the whole part is uh, the ala. And then you have the iliac crest which is going to be right here. It looks um, looks kind of, I don't know, kind of, kind of rough. So that is your iliac crest. And you guys, I hope this is what you're seeing this because I can't see myself on the camera while I'm making this video. So that is the crest. So I'm going to point it out on the PowerPoint here. That is the iliac crest. So like this whole part here is the ilium. Okay, three bones again that make up your pelvic bone. All right, so you can see the ilium right here. So the, the wing is the ala, and then the iliac crest. That's what you have to know for the ilium. So, oh, I'm lying. There's two more. So let me move to, um, see if you can see this. On, I can show it on both of them actually. So this is your ilium. So we're looking here. This is the posterior side, right? This is the ilium. And there is something known as the greater sciatic notch. And it's right here on the PowerPoint, right here. And so you should try to find this on your skeleton. See if you can find it. So this is called the greater sci sciatic notch. There is a lesser one, but the greater one is found on the ilium. So if you look on your sheet, on your unit five sheet, you can see the greater sciatic notch falls under uh, the ilium. So where it's at is it's right here. Here's a greater sciatic notch on the left and a greater sciatic notch on the right. And 
you have a big sciatic nerve, okay, that's going to go through there. So if ever you hear pregnant women or people that are overweight, they irritate it, um, that's that sciatic nerve goes through there. A lot of times they can't sit for a long time. Okay, let me see if there's anything else I want to show you. This is the posterior view. Let me get um, another. There we go. So this is more medial. So what I would show you is like this right here. This is going to be the iliac fossa. And that's the other marking that you have to have, okay? The facets. The whole thing is the ala, but like how it goes like this is the facet. Now, that is it. I apologize um, that I, I thought we didn't have to know the greater sciatic notch. All right, so I'm going to go back. And the ischium, okay, so the ischium has an ischial spine, a tuberosity, and a ramus, all right? On your sheet, you have to know the spine, the lesser sciatic notch, and the ischial tuberosity. All right, so we're going to take a look at these. So hopefully we can see, this is that greater sciatic notch right here on the right and the left. That's the greater, that's on the ilium. Now the ischium is down here. So right where it comes to a point, so you can see it goes like this, that is going to be the spine. That's the ischial spine. And I'm gonna point it out here on your PowerPoint. So make sure that you're labeling the ischial, ischial spine. And then, so like here's your greater sciatic notch on the ilium, and then here is the ischial spine. And then there's a smaller notch, and that's the lesser sciatic notch. So hopefully here you guys can see greater, greater sciatic notch, Ischial spine, lesser, lesser um, sciatic notch. Greater sciatic notch on the ilium. Now we get to the ischium. This is the ischial spine, lesser sciatic notch. And then what you get is this rough part here. And this is of the ischium, and your ischium is like your butt bone, okay? When you're sitting right now, you can feel the bone. That's your ischium. All right, so this is rough. It's a tuberosity. It's an ischial tuberosity, just like we had uh, a radial tuberosity. Remember the bump? And then we had the tibial tuberosity. So this is an ischial tuberosity right here. And... So let's look at this again. Here's the greater sciatic notch. And you guys don't try these on your skeleton. So look on the posterior side. See if you can find a greater sciatic notch, an ischial spine, the lesser sciatic notch, and then the ischial tuberosity. All right, which ones are on the ischium? The ischial spine, the lesser sciatic notch, and the ischial tuberosity. So if you follow that tuberosity around, you get to the pubic bone. Okay, so you can see that all right here. So you have an ischium, the pubis, and the ilium. So here is that pubic bone. We'll stay here. So the only things that you have to know um, are the obturator for Raymond and the pubic synthesis. So really obvious, I'm not sure how well you can see, there's this huge opening 
And there is a difference, like it's rounder in a male and more triangular in shape in a female. But this is the obturator foramen here and here. And then the cartilage that joins the two pelvic bones together. Okay, that's going to be um, the pubic symphysis. And so we have to look at another slide to see that. So here you can see it. Here you can see that obturator foramen and then that pubic symphysis. And so that is important, you know, for females having a baby. So like that is there. So like the pelvis can spread um, to have a baby. So again, you can see here's your pubic bone. Here's the ischium from this anterior view. Here's the ilium. And here's how those two ilium bones come together to get the sacrum. Sacrum, uh, everything's held together, and we know that then our lumbar spine comes off of there. Right, this is just a posterior view. You can really see that iliac crest there. You can see the ischial spine, the greater sciatic notch, the ischial tuberosity. All right, and I just want to point out, like, when uh, identifying the difference between males and females, um, this is a superior view. There's lots of little things. There's a pelvic brim right here. This is the inlet. Um, and then this is the pelvic outlet. And then we can look at, like, the um, these are boundaries of the true... Uh, and the false uh, pelvis, but like the sacrum here is something, um, you know, to look at. So this is, you know, the pelvis here. And so these are just, you know, that was like we were looking through before. So this is inferior. So this is showing the outlet. But what I want to point out is like when you look to see if it's a female, you'll see that the Iliums, it's like more uh, broader, smoother, um, uh, it's shallower. Okay, very, sh this is iliac fossil, fossa. So like a lot of times you'll see this come up more and it's, at a female, it's very shallow. It's a wider pelvic outlet um, and the obturator foramen is going to be triangular. So basically the biggest thing I want you to see here, this does look a little bit more like a narrow heart this looks like this should the biggest thing you should see is this looks like more of a a baby head can come through here so it's going to be wider but when you look at these iliac fossas you should be able to see it's more shallow compared to the male and then another one i always teach is like look at this right here the pubic angle this is called this is usually a lot more narrow and this is wider and then you get more of a triangular shape um with the obturator foramens as opposed to a more of an oval shape. So there's several little things, but generally you'll see the females be wider and the iliac fossa more shallow. Uh, and then the angle, the pubic angle, this is pretty narrow. Yeah, I would say this is more male. So, you know, those are just some things that you should look for and you should be familiar with. All right. Uh, go through everything. Spend the rest of your time um, after you're done with this video, going back, learning your hand, watching the videos that I have posted and get started uh, so that next week we're just talking about the lower limb. We will review. Have a good day.